ahead on NCBA's Cattlemen to Cattlemen. How can you protect your animals and win the fight against BRD? We'll have insight and advice from experts with Marielle. And now, a special edition of NCBA's Cattlemen to Cattlemen with host Kevin Oxner. Hello and welcome to this week's special edition of NCBA's Cattlemen to Cattlemen. I'm Kevin Oxner. Thanks for joining us. Year in and year out, the biggest single animal health issue cattlemen and women face is BRD, bovine respiratory disease. BRD can affect animals of any age, and it's especially hard on calves. Even if those animals recover, they often struggle and never reach their full potential. So today, we're going to focus our time on the issue of BRD and some of the tactics and weapons producers can use against this costly disease. Joining me now is a panel of experts from Marielle to discuss BRD. We're pleased to have with us Dr. Tom Van Dyke with Large Animal Veterinary Services for Marielle and coming to us from the Commonwealth of Virginia. Tell us a little bit about yourself, Dr. Van Dyke. Thanks, Kevin. It's great to be here. Uh, I'm Tom Van Dyke. I work with Marielle and I work with their veterinary services, the Large Animal Veterinary Services. And our mission is to see that veterinarians and producers use Marielle products in, successfully. Uh, I've been with Marielle for eight years before Marielle. I uh, was in private veterinary practice back in Virginia for, for 30 years. I also have a few cattle of my own, so run a few cattle in, in the hills around home. Very good. Also uh, coming to us uh, is Dr. Tony Morvitz. He's also with the Animal Veterinary Services for Marielle and resides in Nebraska. Tell us a little bit about yourself. Thank you for having, having me, Kevin. Um, yeah, I've been working with Marielle for the last seven years now. Um, prior to that, I was in private practice in Illinois and Nebraska. Um, we've got a beef and grain operation in East Central Nebraska. It's a family farm, and uh, wife and kids are there with uh, with grandparents and great grandparents. Uh, it's a it's a really truly a family outfit. Um, I'd like to say hello to my wife Erica and the kids Wyatt, Macy, Quinn, Levi, and Nate. Hello, Dad will be coming home soon. Very good. Thanks and Quinn. For, <laughs> <laughs> thanks for uh, joining us today. Finally, joining us today is Dr. Tom Ulrichson, a veterinarian with the Audubon Manning Clinic in Manning, Iowa. Dr. Ulrichson, tell us a little bit about your background. Thank you for having me. I uh, grew up in a small town in Canton, South Dakota on a farm. Ended up at Iowa State University and practiced my first 11 years down in Albia, Iowa, in southern Iowa in a large cow-calf practice. Moved to uh, Manning in 1990, joined the Audubon Manning Vet Clinic where I worked primarily with cow-calf and feedlots. Very good. Well, thank you all for joining us again. And, you know, let's begin by discussing the problem itself. Tell me, what is BRD? Kevin, BRD, it's uh, obviously initials, but it stands for bovine respiratory disease, uh, otherwise known as pneumonia, otherwise known as shipping fever. It's actually, sometimes they'll add the word complex to the end, BRD complex, because it's a complex interaction between the bug, which is the germ, the calves, and their immune system, and, and gen just the environment that they live in. So that's basically what it is. And um, the, the, pr pretty much the, the stress of either the virus or the stress of the situation can, can lower the uh, calves' ability to fight off disease. Mm -hmm. So there's usually a virus component that comes to play, and that, that starts, the, starts the, the downhill slide, we'll say, and then the actual damage is done by bacteria, usually manheimia, pasteurella, mycoplasma, and histophilus. And so then you have these environmental factors or management factors that can also lead or, or set these calves up for a problem. That would be weaning, crowding, uh, transportation. And then you add to that environmental factors, moisture, cold weather, hot weather, dust. All those lower the calves' ability to fight off these viruses and bacteria, and then we, that leads to the problem. So that's, it's just a big problem in, in any of the facets of the cattle industry. And so what does it mean in terms of economic impact? What, what does this mean dollars and cents wise to the beef cattle industry as a whole? Want me to answer that one too? Sure. Right <laughs> so, uh, well, it's been estimated that in, at least in the beef industry in the United States that it's up to five, 500 to 900 million dollar losses just due to BRD. Mm -hmm. And that, those estimates were done before the record cattle prices we have now. And so who knows what it is. But, you know, back in cheap times, it was 900 million. So, you know, it's even worse now. For, mm -hmm. right. 
So, so how, how does BRD actually happen? Give us a sense, Dr. Moravitz, of, of what takes place to cause animals to get sick. Well, it's an interesting setup because a lot of the inciting factors are beyond our control, but there are a few things that are within our control. Um, certainly the stress that the cattle feel. Um, there's some things we can't change about the environmental factors, the large fluctuations in temperature in the fall, um, you know, hauling cattle long distances, subjecting them to a lot of stress, but handling them once they arrive um, in, a, in a low stress manner can help curb that. Yeah. Stress, like in people, it decreases your immune system's ability mm -hmm. to fight off offending pathogens that may normally be there, the germs that are normally present all the time. And when that happens, um, it opens ourselves up as people or as cattle to infection. And that's when the ball really starts rolling and it's hard to stop once it starts rolling because then cattle can become chronic poor doers. Mm -hmm. They don't perform well going out into the feed yard, getting on feed. And, uh, and it becomes a real struggle not only for the cattle to perform, but also economically. Mm -hmm. um, and they don't live up to their genetic potential as a result. Dr. Ulrichsen, is there a time either seasonally or in an animal's life that makes cattle particularly susceptible, susceptible, I should say, to BRD? Well, we see BRD year round, no matter what the temperature or weather factors, but particularly in the, in the fall time when they were bringing them in, hot days, cold nights, uh, calves have just been weaned, all the stresses that we've talked about, um, and uh, bring them in the feedlot, uh, new surroundings, different water, different feed, mama's not there anymore, uh, huge stress on their life. And so we see mainly in the, in the falls when we see BRD. Go ahead. Kevin, I think it's interesting to note that the, the bacteria the, that do all the damage and cause most of the problems with BRD, they actually live in the upper respiratory tract of normal cattle. Right. So they're there all along. It's just in when then the stresses, the viral stresses that maybe they be introduced to or environmental stresses that lower the calves immune system. And then that allows these bacteria that are living, not causing any damage to go to the calves lungs. And that's when the the problem begins. That's great insight. And we're going to continue this discussion, but first, let's share some perspective on the importance of growing healthy animals from our recent visit to Idaho. You know, these cattle cost more now than they ever have in the history of, of the industry. And when you do the math and figure out how much we're actually putting into these cattle as an investment, what we're doing to keep these cattle in the best possible condition, we, we need to really, we need to do it. We need to do these things to make sure we get the, the most for our money. Number one, these cattle get stressed, and when they get stressed, they get sick, just like people. And if the immune system is dealing with stress and viruses and bacteria, it can overload the immune system. So depending upon where you're running cattle, um, is going to affect the strategy that you have, so that's why it's important to consult somebody, uh, your veterinarian, to put together a strategy that's going to work for you. Dr. Morvitz, let's pick up on those ideas you mentioned there. Uh, why is it so critical for cattlemen to get on top of BRD? Well, it's a large investment for one thing, mm -hmm. I and mean, to have a dead animal costs more to the producer now than it ever has. Um, you know, to suffer that kind of an economic loss is, is huge and really takes away from the bottom line. And we want to do right for our cattle. Um, when the cattle do right, we do right mm -hmm. economically. So um, I think it's, it comes back to good stewardship practices and making sure that we get on top of it as soon as possible, whether it's in the form of prevention, um, by thinking about when these cattle are going to be high stress, as Dr. Olickson said, this time of the year, we're doing a lot of weaning in our part of the country. That's a high stress time of the year. That's when we need to be on high alert yep. and be able to, to do practices with your veterinarian, mm -hmm. consult with your local veterinarian that are gonna minimize those stresses so we can make sure that we can get on top of it. Because if they, if they start to show clinical signs of BRD, we're already way behind the eight ball. So I wanna follow up on that, Dr. Van Dyke, and, and ask you, um, so, so how specifically does BRD impact and cause an animal to decrease their overall performance? That's a great question. And I think it's interesting to note that for their size, uh, cattle have a 
a smaller lung capacity and, a, and a, even a, an a increased oxygen capacity than other animals. And so they're therefore, they're more susceptible to the damage that are done by these pathogens and they have a harder time fighting them off too. So then, now we have a, a calf that needs every inch or every ounce of lung capacity that it has and the damage done by, by BRD decreases their lung capacity. They can never have as much oxygen as they, as they really were meant to have and they can't. Uh, live up to their full genetic potential if they can't get all the oxygen oxygen that they need. So that's why, you know, it's easy to see a dead calf. That's a loss, but the real losses occur that they never gain, they never perform as efficiently as they would have. So Dr. Ulrichson, what does this mean in terms of producers' bottom line? Well, we, we see this in the summertime with uh, uh, young calves out on pasture. Mm -hmm. They get sick, uh, might treat, might not be able to get a hold of them to treat, and uh, at the end of the uh, summer, then you've got a calf that weighs 100, 150 pounds less, mm. and it, it, what we're getting for per pound for calves this year is around three dollars a pound. So you take that times 100, you got three hundred dollars, three hundred and fifty, four hundred dollars loss, and uh, loss. besides all your treatment costs, mm -hmm. so it it's adds up. Loss. Well, thank you very much, gentlemen. This is a great introduction to a very, very important conversation. Now, if you'd like more information about Marielle, you can visit the website marielle.com. And of course, you can always go to cattlemanandcattlemen.org for video replays of the show or for more information as well. Still ahead on NCBA's Cattlemen and Cattlemen, we'll dig deeper into the most effective ways to defeat BRD. Stay with us. You're watching NCBA's Cattlemen to Cattlemen on RFD TV. There's something wrong. His head is down. He's clearly stressed. He's worried sick about BRD. That's why there's prescription Zactran for BRD treatment and control in high-risk cattle. Get a rapid response plus 10-day treatment and control in a single dose so you can stop worrying and get back to business. For use in cattle only, do not treat cattle within 35 days of slaughter. Because a discard time in milk has not been established, do not use in female dairy cattle 20 months of age or older or in calves to be processed for veal. The effects of Zactran on bovine reproductive performance, pregnancy, and lactation have not been determined. Don't worry yourself sick. Talk to your veterinarian about a real alternative for BRD treatment and control. Because it's critical, it's Zactran. From Mariel, a leading animal health company. Whether you're feeding cattle, milking cows, or baling hay, the work on your farm is never done, which is why you need equipment that works as hard as you do. Get the efficiency and versatility you need with Case IH. From farm all compact and utility tractors to balers and mowers, all Case IH equipment is designed with one thing in mind, getting the job done. To learn more, visit caseih.com livestock. Welcome back to this special edition of NCBA's Cattlemen to Cattlemen as we hear from the animal health experts at Mariel. Gentlemen, we've been talking about BRD. I want to talk about treatment for just a moment. And uh, Dr. Van Dyke, uh, tell us what are some of the antibiotics that are available for treatment? Kevin, there are some very good antibiotic classes that, that producers and veterinarians can choose from in these days, a lot more than, than in my early practice years. But they would fall into the classes of the macrolides, like Zactran, the, the fluoroquinolones, the beta-lactams, and the chloramphenicol type drugs. You mentioned macrolide, and I've heard that term used before. Tell me, what, what is a macrolide? A macrolide is uh, probably the, the, the newest group of antibiotics that we've got uh, on the market today. Um, they're a class that incorporates a high, a high intercellular concentration once you give it, and it sustains itself over a, a, that concentration over a period of time. So the, th the thought and the theory is once we treat them, we don't have to keep re-pulling them day in and day out, and it's just it's better cattle handling um, for, the, for the producer. So Dr. Van Dyke, what is Zactran, and, and exactly when was it introduced? 
Kevin, Zactran was brought to market in 2012 by Mariel, and Zactran is a macrolide, but all macrolides are not alike. Uh, the, each, each molecule is different. There's a, there, so macrolide is, uh, Zactran is a novel uh, molecule in the macrolide class. Mm. And they vary in how well they get to the site of action, and they vary in how well they act once they get there. So that's how different, even though they're in the same class, they might behave differently in the animal. So you said it's a novel uh, in terms of how it re reacts. Dr. Morvitz, tell us, how does Zactran work? Well, Zactran as a macrolide uh, works within the white blood cells. Um, of course, animals, people, we all have red blood cells and white blood cells. Red blood cells oxygenate the body, support organ fu function. White blood cells do pretty much everything else. They're involved principally with immunity um, and then also disease protection and, and neutralization. So Zactran gets into the white blood cells and is able to go to the site of infection, in this case BRD, gets into the lung um, rather quickly and within 24 hours we can have a real positive response as a result. In fact, we have a short video that provides additional insight on how Zactran works. Let's have a look. In the treatment and control of bovine respiratory disease, BRD, rapid response is critical. Zactran is a novel subclass of macrolide with a structural difference. Gamithromycin, the patented active ingredient in Zactran, is rapidly absorbed, extensively distributed in lung tissue, and persists at high levels for an extended period. After subcutaneous injection in front of the shoulder at 2 milliliters per 110 pounds, Zactran is rapidly and completely absorbed. In the blood, Zactran exhibits low plasma protein binding, resulting in 74% available free drug. Moving with the bloodstream, Zactran rapidly reaches the lung within 30 minutes after injection, where it can diffuse out of the capillaries. In the lung, at the primary site of infection, it quickly accumulates in the pulmonary epithelial lining fluid, or PELF for short. Zactran concentration in the lung rapidly rises above the minimum inhibitory concentration, MIC-90, within 30 minutes and peaks in 12 hours. Zactran concentration levels in the lung remain above MIC-90 for 10 days. BRD infections occur at the epithelial lining in the lung. Zactran accumulates in the white blood cells and in the epithelial lining fluid, where the bacteria are trying to colonize. Zactran is present where it counts, ready to attack the pathogens and to exert its bacteriostatic and bactericidal effects. Gamithromycin concentrates in the lysosomes of immune cells and travels with them to the site of the BRD infection, attacking bacteria as they are engulfed or releasing drug into the pelf. In field trials, clinically ill cattle treated with Zactran showed rapid improvement in BRD clinical signs. Most cattle with a body temperature over 104 degrees Fahrenheit showed a significant decrease in fever within 24 hours post-treatment. Respiratory character scores and depression scores also decreased within 24 hours post-treatment. These results were maintained for the 10-day study duration. In further clinical studies investigating control of BRD in high-risk cattle, Zactran provided effective BRD control throughout the 10-day study. Zactran by Marial. For a rapid response, 10-day treatment and control of BRD in a single dose. That's the best visual lesson I've ever seen on, on BRD and how antibody works. That's a fantastic. Dr. Van Dyke, tell us, uh, what are the product indications for Zactran? Zactran is indicated for treatment of bovine respiratory disease due to uh, Mannheimia, Pasteurella, Histophilus, and mycoplasma. It's also indicated for control of bovine respiratory disease for in cases of, uh, of Mannheimia and Pasteurella. Dr. Uh, Ulrichsen, uh, what's the difference between treatment and control? Well, 
treatment obviously is pretty self-explanatory. An animal's sick, you treat it. Uh, control, you want to prevent the disease from affecting the animal in the first place. Example might be if you're bringing in some cattle that you may have come out of a stress situation or co-mingled cattle or you've had previous history where they've gotten sick, uh, then you could use Zactran up front and prevent the disease from happening in the first place. And Dr. Morvitz, the video talked uh, about how quick acting it is. Tell us about how fast Zactran, Zactran goes to work and, and, and how long does it last within the animal? Well, as you saw from the video, within 30 minutes we're getting a um, concentration that is, that is a killing concentration or bactericidal is the word that was used in the video that will actually kill the bacteria that are there and then it lasts for 10 days in, in that lung tissue. So it gets to the site of action very quickly and uh, within 24 hours you can see a, a positive response with that. Their, their temperature is coming back down to normal and, and their improvement in their demeanor and, and getting back to the feed bunk. That really is phenomenal. And Dr. Van Dyke, mm -hmm. uh, tell us a little bit about the overall safety of using Zactran. Well, Zactran is safe. First off, it, it's, it's also easy to use, comes ready to use in, in, in a bottle that's well protected from, from breakage. Uh, it has very good syringability in cold temperatures, which is really important to people this time of year. And, but most importantly, you worry about the safety of the animal. And uh, in, the, in the safety trials, other than a few minor site reactions, there were no big adverse reactions at all in any of our studies. So it's, it's a very safe drug to use. And Dr. Morvitz, the uh, dosage, what, what, what do we give cattle? It's two cc's per 110 pounds of body weight. Very good. Subcutaneously, in the neck, and if you have to exceed 10 cc's per that animal, uh, make sure you follow BQA guidelines and, and make sure you don't give more than 10 cc's per injection site. Make sure they're at least a hand's breadth away from each other. It's a great reminder. Dr. Ulrichsen, uh, what would you offer in terms of some keys to success in, in using Zactran? Well, uh, I, I like Zactran especially because, first of all, it's, it's a very powerful drug against BRD, the, the four pathogens that we have. Mm -hmm. uh, and especially I like it's, it's the hard hitting up front. Mm -hmm. Got a great kick uh, from my experience when, when, the, when you've got a sick animal. You want to see that animal. I usually will take temperatures the first day or have my clients take temperature, temperatures the first day. And I want to see that temperature heading down the next day. Mm -hmm. And I want to see that animal the next day uh, feeling better, going up to the feed bunk, uh, kind of monitoring, see how he's improving, and Zactran will do that. That's fantastic. Now you can find out more about Zactran by visiting the website zactran.com. Don't go away, we'll have more right after this. There's something wrong. His head is down. He's clearly stressed. He's worried sick about BRD. That's why there's prescription Zactran for BRD treatment and control in high-risk cattle. Get a rapid response plus 10-day treatment and control in a single dose so you can stop worrying and get back to business. For use in cattle only, do not treat cattle within 35 days of slaughter. Because a discard time in milk has not been established, do not use in female dairy cattle 20 months of age or older or in calves to be processed for veal. The effects of Zactran on bovine reproductive performance, pregnancy, and lactation have not been determined. Don't worry yourself sick. Talk to your veterinarian about a real alternative for BRD treatment and control. Because it's critical, it's Zactran. From Mariel, a leading animal health company. Welcome back. We're focusing today on animal health, and in particular, the issue of BRD. With us once again to dig a little deeper into this topic is our expert panel from Marielle. Thank you guys again for sharing your insights. Thanks. I want to start with you, Dr. Van Dyke. We talked a little bit before the break about some treatment alternatives and the success you've seen with Zactran. Tell us a little bit about how it stacks up from an effectiveness standpoint. In field trials where Zactran was used uh, to treat clinically sick cattle, 
Uh, these cattle were observed within 24 hours to, to show visible improvement. I mean, improvement that the producers, veterinarians could actually see. People like that. Uh, and then in, in treatment, these cattle improved in 24 hours and they stayed well. The majority of them stayed well for the 10-day study. Uh, in a control study, which means we, we dosed up front to high-risk cattle, the majority of the cattle, once again, stayed healthy for the full the full 10 days of the study. Mm -hmm. um, what's really, what really I think is interesting, we've actually done some studies uh, comparing Zactran with some commonly used other, other treatments and it has performed very favorably when compared to, to real world situations and well, real world antibiotics. Yeah, and tell us from a producer standpoint, maybe Dr. Morvitz, I mean you, you see a lot of producers, uh, what are they telling you about the product? Uh, they like it a lot. Uh, the effectiveness, the ability to get in and treat these cattle up front and not have to worry about things uh, and getting them back in within 24 hour period and retreating them, um, that, that really is, is critical for them to, from a, from a management standpoint, from a labor standpoint. And then it's, it's a very cost effective option as far as the macrolide class of, of antibiotics are concerned and that's that's, uh, you know, in today's day and age of, of high-priced cattle, we need to be spending our money as wisely as possible. And Dr. Ulrichson, uh, you work with a lot of folks out in western Iowa. How do you see folks incorporating Zactran into their overall management practices? Well, Zactran is getting to be a household name anymore because it has worked so well. We've got a two-year track record with Zactran and have had a lot of success with it. And uh, so it, it's pretty commonly known. I, kind of laugh. They don't always get the name right when they come in the clinic, but they, they know the product that they want. No doubt there are a lot of tough names to pronounce and spell in the animal health world. And on that note, we have another comment to share with you. Here's what one producer had to say about Zactran. You've got to have the passion for raising cattle. And most of us are unique guys, uh, cattlemen, ranchers, so there's few of us. and uh, It's fun. And if you're not going to have fun raising cattle, you better find another job because you got to have fun doing this. We work with the local vet, known him for quite a few years, and we kind of go with what he thinks is best. Dale is a client of ours that uh, buys lightweight heifers, primarily from sale barns, and they're put together type cattle. BRD is very tough, it stands for bovine respiratory disease complex. In Dale's operation, where he's buying these high-risk calves, it's very important that we find a product that helps him treat these cattle, and so we try to prevent BRD in these cattle right up front with Zactran, and it's been very helpful to his operation. Over the years, we've seen BRD be a huge component in mortality for our operations that are primarily using lightweight calves coming in from a long haul, and that's why we use Zactran. It's a family operation, and you try to find new solutions to provide for the family, to make money. Anytime we can do that uh, is, a, is a good day. Talk to your Mary Al sales representative or veterinarian about prescription Zactran. For prescribing and other information, call 1-888-637-4251 or visit Zactran.com. Is that pretty typical of the stories you hear from your producers, Dr. Morbitz? Yeah, I, yep. I hear that a lot. Um, feed yards that are receiving cattle, long haul cattle in particular, like Zactran in uh, a metaphylactic treatment or mm. control treatment. Um, I like that that they're using their veterinarian and they're, they're using the veterinarian's diagnostic skills and, and capacities to be able to diagnose what the bug is that's causing the problems because sometimes we may be using the wrong class of antibiotics to treat a bug that it, it's not going to work against. So doing the diagnostic work, making sure that we got the right bug matched with the right drug and we're going to be able to have some success with treating BRD. Dr. Ulrichson, what stories do you hear from your producers? Well, same story. Uh, like I say, we've had a long track record now, for a couple of years of using Zactran and been very successful with it. And the guys call, it, call for it by name. It's uh, because it's worked for them in the past, been successful. What would you add, Dr. Van Dyke? I'll just say that you know, this has been the record year for cattle prices. And it was just, if you could ever have a great year that you could keep at the animals well, we did this year. My, my guys back home, in fact, my own cattle, we used Zactran up front on high stress cattle, kept the majority of them well. We had very few sick animals. And so this has just been the best year that that could have happened. That's great news. 
Stay with us. We'll have more of NCBA's Cattlemen to Cattlemen right after this. Here at 1011. I'm a tuner to know the Joe! Todd! How'd you do? Oh. Not bad. See what you have to gain at the longrangelook.com. We don't sit idle, wondering how we're gonna build a better truck. We get out there and walk a mile, thousands of miles, in the footsteps of the guys we build trucks for. The groundbreaking Ram Heavy Duty, with 30,000 pounds of towing and 850 pound feet of torque. Welcome back. Today, we're talking about the serious challenges posed by BRD. Earlier this year, we visited Iowa to see how Dr. Tom Ulrichson works with his producers in preventing and treating BRD. Here are some of the insights we gained during that visit. When Zactran came out a couple years ago, I was a little bit hesitant and I kind of let other people try them. But my first uh, big experience with Zactran was uh, a client that called me, he had 120 head of cattle that he brought in a couple weeks before. Uh, they had gotten sick, he'd used several different products on them. He had six dead on a Saturday morning when he called me. I went out there, uh, posted them, looked like uh, pastorella. I said, there's only one left that I'm gonna use and that's gonna be Zactran. The cattle the next morning were up eating and uh, they took off after that. So I've been a big cheerleader for Zactran ever since. Early detection is the key. The sooner you get them, the, lot, the better results you're going to have. And we do see guys that have missed them or they've treated and then uh, they're not responding so they call us in. We've had real good luck with Zactran. Most of the pneumonias that we're seeing are bacterial and they, there might be a combination but with the vaccines we have, uh, we're seeing more of a bacterial pneumonia or a mycoplasma pneumonia. And so we've got to have a drug that will treat those. And for me, we're seeing the increase of mycoplasma. And that's the nice thing about Zactran, it'll treat both. And it's labeled for both. So uh, when I come in with an animal, I don't, I'm just treating, I have nothing to go on. And yet I know from past history that I'm probably, if I send a sample of those lungs in, I'm gonna find a, a mycoplasma in addition to a pastorella or a manheimia, hemolytica. I can come with Zactran. The nice thing about Zactran, a uh, couple things. Uh, first of all, it, there's a real kick up front. It, it really hammers that bug hard. So you'll see results within the first 24 hours. The other nice thing about Zactran, it's 10 days treatment. Uh, so you get one shot, you don't have to touch the animal, run him in the chute again, stress him out again, uh, giving uh, two and three sets of shots. So one shot in 10 days uh, gives a real good kick up front, a very strong antibiotic. And uh, most of the time I give it one shot of Zactran and we don't have to worry about them again. Dr. Ulrichson, tell us more about how big uh, BRD is in terms of being a real concern in your area. Well, it is the number one disease in both our uh, cow-calf operations and in our, in our uh, feedlot operations. Once we get those little calves past the scour stage and out on pasture, that's the number one problem we see. And uh, of course, in the feedlot, it is the number one problem we see. Uh, not only from death loss and treatment costs, but also from the lingering effects of the disease, the ones that, that don't uh, pass away, but uh, rather they have scarred lungs, decreased feed efficiency, poor growth, and you end up with a calf at the end of the feeding period or at the, uh, when you're weaning time that nobody wants to buy. So what do you tell your customers and clients uh, when you recommend Zactran? Well, first of all, I had to tell them we want to hit, with pneumonia and the price of these calves, we want to hit these calves hard and we want to hit them fast. 
And Zactran, as we've talked, is the most, one of the most powerful antibiotics out there. Uh, very unique in its uh, chemistry. Uh, also, it's, it's very hard hitting. Uh, mm -hmm. Got a great kick up front, and that's what I like about it because I want my calves to treat them and I want to see some results mm -hmm. the next day. Uh, it is labeled for uh, the four major respiratory bacterial pathogens, which is nice because we don't always have diagnostics mm -hmm. to, to tell us, hey, it's mycoplasma or it's this or that. Uh, I've had uh, several pasture um, uh, calves that have had mycoplasma, mm. and we didn't know what it was at first, we found out later, but if you come in with the wrong drug, you don't get a response. So we've, uh, uh, it's very helpful to have a drug that covers all four, mm -hmm. and I can send that out confidently. I love the uh, one dose last 10 days mm -hmm. because we have a lot of pasture situations, a lot of timber and uh, a lot of cricks, and I don't have a lot of cowboys in my practice. <laughs> I've only got two. Yeah which means I'm the third best roper in the practice, <laughs> which tells you the problem with getting your hands on these right. calves to oh, treat. Yeah. And the guys don't want to grab them the second and third day to treat. So a uh, very big selling point that treat them once, you got 10 days mm -hmm. worth of, of treatment uh, in them. Uh, and the other thing is the safety of the, of the uh, drug. That accidents happen and it's reassuring to know that it's got a high level of safety and my producers and their family can use it with a level of safety. Dr. Morvitz, you mentioned earlier that it's so important for producers to work with their vets. So why do you say that? Well, I, I think Dr. Ulrichson just kind of painted that picture for us with the mycoplasma. Um, utilizing your local veterinarian for their diagnostic expertise, you know, tapping into what they know, tapping into the resources that they have, sending samples into the lab to diagnose exactly what it is you're dealing with. Because with a, with a bug like mycoplasma, if you're treating with a beta-lactam, which inhibits cell wall synthesis, that's how it kills the bug. This is a bug that doesn't have a cell wall. Mm -hmm. And so you need to use a macrolide like Zactran to mm -hmm. get after it. And having that diagnostic capability is, is key. I've certainly learned a lot from our discussion here today. And Dr. Ulrichs and I would ask you, how do you educate your producers on BRD? Well, mainly one-on-one, -on -one, although we do have producer meetings, but we're very fortunate in the state of Iowa we have a real fine preconditioning program. Mm -hmm. And so with our cow-calf guys, I'm working those calves in the spring with respiratory virus vaccines and black leg and all that. And then uh, we come back in the fall at green tag time and we, we booster all those vaccines. Mm -hmm. So we have a very strong program for health-wise for, for calves coming out of the state of Iowa with the green tag program. Uh, as far as feedlot, same thing, one-on-one, -on -one, I'm getting, we have several small feedlots uh, that in my practice area, and most of those cattle come through my clinic, so I'm, we're discussing vaccine programs and uh, uh, prevention programs with them at that time, and we kind of know, I've been there 24 years, we kind of know the history of the herds and where they're getting them from, and we tailor-made our, our programs to what their specific problems are. So when you're working with clients, what are the questions that you typically ask producers as you recommend either a treatment or a control kind of a program? Well, with the, the uh, cow-calf guys, it's, it's pretty straightforward because usually that's a sick calf out on pasture and you treat him and that's it. Mm -hmm. Feedlot gets a lot more complicated and I have a whole laundry list of questions to ask. Where'd the cattle come from? How long they've been in? Uh, how sick are they? Uh, what are you treating with? What kind of temperatures are you seeing? Have you any dye? Uh, and then if they have had some dye, we want to definitely get some uh, postmortems done and get some diagnostics done so we know what we're dealing with. But nutrition is also very key. We go through the nutrition, how they started calves, try to stay away from the silage for the acidosis that brings on more uh, prone to get BRD uh, problems with that. And then coccidiosis control is uh, uh, common. And we got just about everybody on coccidiosis control because we found out when calves had coccidiosis, we're prone to get BRD. So we go through that whole laundry list with them. Thanks again for your insights. This has been a great discussion. And we'll have more on Marielle and their work with cattle producers right after this. Stay with us. There's something wrong. His head is down. He's clearly stressed. He's worried sick about BRD. That's why there's prescription Zactran for BRD treatment and control in high-risk cattle. 
Get a rapid response plus 10-day treatment and control in a single dose so you can stop worrying and get back to business. For use in cattle only, do not treat cattle within 35 days of slaughter. Because a discard time in milk has not been established, do not use in female dairy cattle 20 months of age or older or in calves to be processed for veal. The effects of Zactran on bovine reproductive performance, pregnancy and lactation have not been determined. Don't worry yourself sick. Talk to your veterinarian about a real alternative for BRD treatment and control. Because it's critical, it's Zactran. From Marielle, a leading animal health company. Welcome back to this special edition of NCBA's Cattlemen and Cattlemen as we get insights on the costly issue of bovine respiratory disease. Gentlemen, we've been talking a lot about the beef cattle industry, but I know BRD also impacts the dairy industry. Can you tell us more about that? BRD does have a huge impact in the dairy industry, but it's mostly in the young replacement uh, heifers. Mm -hmm. And as BRD is the number one cause of mortality in, in weaned heifers. It's the number two cause of mortality in pre-weaned heifers. So you can see that's huge. But, you know, dairy cows are expected to live a long life and to give a lot of milk efficiently. And every sick day that they experience in their childhood or their calfhood detracts from their overall productive life. Animals that were sick as calves will not give as much milk their whole productive life. They may be more prone to culling, so that means leaving the herd early. So it's not just the death losses, it's the production losses that they will experience uh, because they were sick during their calfhood. So Dr. Moravitz, how can we use Zactran in a dairy operation? Zactran can be used in dairy cattle 20 months of age or, or younger. Uh, it cannot be used in calves intended for veal. Um, so it, it's got its place in the, in the dairy, um, and I've seen it in a, in a lot of bigger dairies with a lot of success on calf ranches mm -hmm. um, and post weaning when we're getting these dairy heifers uh, ready to get into uh, breeding programs and go into the parlor. Uh, as long as they're 20 months of age or younger, you're, you're good to go. So tell us more about that, Dr. Van Dyke. When is the optimal time to incorporate Zactran in a dairy operation? You know, the producer will know, people who raise calves know that there are certain times in these calves' lives that are the stress points. That might be weaning, again, it's weaning, and it's when they first make it, their first move. Any change of address that a calf makes seems to be a stress point, but they make their first move from their, from their calf hutch into a, a small group or into bigger groups. They're, they may be then commingled with calves from other sources. So any of those times are obvious are obvious times that are stress points. And then, again, we talk about the weather, the cold, the hot, the humid, the dust, it's all, it's all stress points. So all those can add up. So producers usually know when those are. You can get ahead of it, mm -hmm. of, of the BRD, maybe by preemptive strike with, with a controlled dose of, of an antibiotic. Or then again, the, the second best thing then is to know when the animals get sick, to tr treat them as quickly as possible after they first get sick, which means early detection, early treatment. Thanks again for this additional insight uh, for our dairy producers as well. To find out more about this and other topics related to animal health and Marielle, visit the website marielle.com. Don't go away, we'll have more right after this. New Holland is the undisputed leader in hay tools. We give farmers a wide range of innovative equipment that increases efficiency and productivity all year round. Because to us, smart means providing a smooth, clean cut with faster dry down, flood free conditioning, and superior bale density. And smart means leaving less hay on the field to feed more livestock in less time. That's New Holland Smart. Visit your local New Holland dealer today. Join your fellow cattlemen in sizzling hot San Antonio for the 2015 Cattle Industry Annual Convention and NCBA Trade Show. It's the beef industry's biggest convention, and it's great for education, networking, and fun. Plus, you can check out the NCBA Trade Show for the latest technology. It's the 2015 Cattle Industry Annual Convention and NCBA Trade Show in sizzling hot San Antonio, Texas, February 4th through 7th. Visit BeefUSA.org for more.
Let's face it, you don't think a lot about your trailer hitch. You use it and forget it. We understand, but at B&W, we think about it. Short nights, long hauls, never-ending chores, the unthinkable. We think about it all, so you don't have to. B&W, trusted. If you're not using IMI Global's verification programs, you might as well set your money on fire. To give your wieners added value, no program begins without a traceable animal. Then add on BQA and other specialties and you open up a whole new market for your calves. You might be thinking, the market's so good, why bother? You ever heard of making hay when the sun shines? You got a choice. Get in the game or visit imiglobal.com. One of the great relationships in the wonderful world of agriculture is the one between the farmer and the salesman. Sometimes it runs as smooth as a pit crew on a bobsled, and other times it can be more like cats trying to convince dogs that mice are good to eat. <laughs> Don't be leaning on my fender. You're just another rep. Well, take a look at this new seed corn. Get your foot off of my step. And I've got a line of cleaners to reduce your back tea count. Yeah, and reduce my line of credit by the very same amount. Not, not to mention Scour's vaccine to prevent the dreaded crud and this iron enriched injection to rejuvenate tired blood. I don't need your blame concoctions. All my calves are at their peak. Yeah, I noticed that your dead man pile is smaller than last week, <laughs> and your pigs are doing better since you bought my supplement. It's that parsley I've been adding. Not your feed that makes them grunt. Well, well, how's that herbicide I sold you? Killed the weeds in your field? Huh. It rained just right this summer. That's what doubled up my yield. Well, do you, you need some more inflations? Some baler twine or, or rubber boots? Read my lips. No milk replacement. No organic substitutes. Everything you try and sell me just adds to my expenses. It's hard enough to keep her running smooth between the fences. Can't you see you're taking up my time? I've got to go and feed. So, uh, say goodbye and leave me. What you, uh, think I'm gonna need. Wait. 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 This is Baxter Black. From out there. Thanks, Baxter. We always enjoy our visits with you. I want to remind you that coming up on November 11th, we'll have a special edition of NCBA's Cattleman to Cattleman coming to you live from Washington, D.C. Join us Tuesday evening, November 11th at 8.30 p.m. Eastern Time for a special live edition of Cattleman to Cattleman. We'll have more right after this. This isn't a job, it's a calling. Your hard work helps feed the world. Being linked to those who care for the land is our calling. For more than 175 years, John Deere has been a proud partner of the cattle business. That's why we bring you special NCBA member discounts, so you can get the right equipment. Strong, rugged, versatile, and ready to work hard. Talk to your John Deere dealer to learn more about your NCBA member discounts. John Deere, committed to the land, committed to your success. No 
snowstorm is too powerful for new Purina wind and rain storm minerals, formulated with ultimate weather resistance. That means more minerals in the feeder and available to your cattle. Wind and rain storm minerals provide more consistent intake and balanced mineral nutrition to optimize herd health and breedback rates. See the difference at your local Purina dealer or visit CattleNutrition.com. Wind and rain storm minerals, another way Purina is building better cattle. Welcome back. As we wrap up our show, I want to give each of you an opportunity to just share some final thoughts about BRD and our discussion today. Dr. Ulrichson? Yeah, I've, we've been using Zactran for the last couple of years now in our practice and uh, had a very strong uh, track record with it. And so I tell my producers, you got cattle, I'd have a bottle of Zactran on your shelf. Dr. Morvitz? Well, there's a lot of choices that producers have to treat BRD. Um, and Zactran has a lot of unique attributes. Um, from a cost basis, I think it's, it provides the, the best opportunity to get your return on your investment mm -hmm. uh, while using the latest technology that we have available in, in veterinary medicine. Very good. Dr. Van Dyke, what would you say? I'd say Zactran, just like any other antibiotic, will work better if you pay special attention to minimizing stress for your animals, enhancing their immune system. That means, again, minimizing stress, using the proper vaccines, and then then early detection, notice when the cattle are sick, and treat them early. Very good. And Dr. Morvitz, where can people go to learn more about Zactran? Certainly they can contact their local Mariel representative, or they can go to the website zactran.com, uh, or 888 Mariel one is another uh, contact resource they can, they can reach out to, and um, we can get them more information as they need it. Thank you very much for this information. And here's some important safety information as well. Talk to your Marial sales representative or veterinarian about prescription Zactran. For prescribing and other information, call 1-888-637-4251 or visit Zactran.com. For use in cattle only, do not treat cattle within 35 days of slaughter. Because a discard time in milk has not been established, do not use in female dairy cattle 20 months of age or older or in calves to be processed for veal. The effects of Zactran on bovine reproductive performance, pregnancy, and lactation have not been determined. Well, that wraps up this edition of NCBA's Cattlemen to Cattlemen. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you right back here next week on RFD TV.